Now, when I talked about the quantum leap in the energy sector, where Africans are first hand to discover that you can actually tap electricity from the very tree around you. A lot of people think it's a elaborate hoax. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Yes, it's a scam. Why is it that every time that an African made a new monumental discoveries that is going to change the economic order, the first impression from the Western folks is, is, a, is a hoax, is a scam. It is not real. This is... Hello guys, welcome back. I am Dr. Ku, and in today's very video edition here, I'm going to be taking you guys through some of the facts that most of you aren't actually seeing. For the record, this is not a typical DIY YouTube video which a lot of you watch and boom, it stops there when you go home to try it. So with that said, you should understand that this very video here is going to be teaching you exactly what people have actually practiced that is actually working. People who are tapping into this very unlimited potential that has the ability to change the very fabric of reality which you have and change your current trajectory and save you a lot of money. Yes, you heard me right when I say a lot of money. Now let's get to it. The government are very easy to start pushing a lot of things into you, the EV, this, that, that's going to grab a lot of money from you or keep you in debt. And that is why someone like me is going back in time to uncover some of the history, facts, how the previous civilization like the Tartaria lived their life, how they were able to be more in tune with nature than we are in this modern day. The reality there that a lot of you are not actually looking at is in our own civilization today, the world or the world leaders are much more concerned about control, monopolies, greed for power and money. And this literally turns everything into obsolete. Your smartphones, your cars, your laptop, computer, you name any product out there, there are more obsolete like by 95%. Yes, you heard me right. Because they believe that in keeping you dependent, that is what moves the economy. On one direction, that seemed like a fantastic idea, but this is only just making few people rich while keeping millions in perpetual roller coaster of hamster wheel of poverty and exploitation as i'm talking to you right now when i talked about the quantum leap in the energy sector where africans are first hand to discover that you can actually tap electricity from the very tree around you a lot of people think it's a elaborate hoax oh, blah, blah, blah. yes it's a scam why is it that every time that an African discovered any monumental, made any monumental discoveries that is going to change or the first world or the world economic order, the first impression from the Western forces is, is, is a hoax, is a scam, it is not real. This is not healthy. And that is why most often times it kind of upsets me in a way that you don't understand. I feel like. The kind of information which I'm sharing my channel shouldn't be What's for everybody, but should be some for selected few. And I can look in the comment section and spot and tell you this person, That's even without even looking at his picture or his channel, that this person is from they Africa. They have stolen the stones already and will go to any length to buy off the greedy leaders at the expense of the poor. Outraged by the reality that is coming out. The reality of Africa is going nuclear. Burkina Faso, with help from Russia, will create Africa's second functioning nuclear reactor, therefore granting Burkina Faso the ability to create a nuclear weapon. You see, what you just witnessed there is the spin against Africa being self-sufficient. Understand here is this. No one should be enslaved by technology. Technology should serve humanity, and that is my own purpose. If there's going to be any invention today that... Moringa trees in this farm. We would like to test uh, the notion that a Moringa tree as electricity can generate electricity. My own theory is that it acts like a solar panel receiver because it is, works best when the sun is shining. So for us, what we are going to do is we are going to put the electrode, an electrode there, the red, the uh, light one, and the Earth wire, it's at zero. I'm going to switch on and measure the current flows. As you can see, it is measuring 200 volts to 23. And yet, today is not even very sunny, it's quite cloudy actually. We thought it would work. So, we are very excited that we can generate electricity. 
Roma Moringa tree. Yay. Purpose. I am on the part of trying to decentralize the energy sector. And I know that this is going to sound crazy and a lot of people are not going to like it because there are people who are profiting from keeping you dependency. Now, in this very video today, I'm going to be showing you some of those brutal, honest facts. Reality. South African guy was the first to actually uncover this. I'm going to put the video up here, right? So watch that very video and I'm going to be right back. So Ce que ce monsieur est en train de faire ici, regardez, maintenant vous pouvez commencer s'il vous plaît. Ouais, donc je suis euh, Vital Luton, chimiste, chercheur, inventeur congolais. Donc j'ai commencé la recherche depuis l'âge de 8 ans, donc avec le problème d'électricité qui s'écoule le, le, le pays. Quoi. Donc j'ai mis au point euh, l'électricité à base des plantes, parce que les plantes, elles, elles ne polluent pas la nature. Les plantes nous renvoient le dioxygène et consomment le CO2. Donc la plante pour vivre, elle a besoin de chaleur et de soleil. Donc sa nourriture minérale est puisée dans le sol. Donc les éléments de base sont l'azote, le phosphore et le potassium. C'est la trilogie MPK. Auquel on peut ajouter des, des éléments fertilisants tels que le calcium et le magnésium. Donc on va apporter de l'eau et j'ai construit le bitium. Le bitium, c'est fait à base du citron. Donc à l'origine et pendant des siècles, la seule source de la matière première a été à travers les plantes et là c'est les animaux. Donc dans un fruit comme le citron, il existe plusieurs centaines de composés chimiques en proportion variable avec l'espèce et la partie du végétal. C'est pourquoi j'ai tiré du citron un composé que j'ai baptisé vitium, provenant de mon prénom vital. Vitium qui veut simplement dire vivre tranquille avec tous les éléments chimiques qui prennent la terme sur IUM. Donc pour cela, quand, lorsque vous mettez le vitium dans la plante, elle va toucher les racines parce que les plantes, elles, elles libèrent du glucose. Automatiquement, il y a la photosynthèse de la plante et elle vous génère l'électricité en courant continu. Donc vous devez avoir un, un transformateur pour avoir du courant alternatif. Si vous avez un gros transformateur, vous pouvez électrifier une grande maison. Que ce soit en étage que j'ai fait, euh, euh, j'ai déjà mis au point avec le PUNUT, on a fait quatre maisons test à pointe noire. Donc le, le, le processus, j'ai mis le, le capteur à l'intérieur, donc je vais balancer avec ce, ce connecteur. Ici, la sortie, le courant ne peut pas électrocuter, c'est le courant continu comme le courant de la batterie ou bien de, de la pile électrique. Mais quand on va le relier au transfert, l'oscillateur va permettre de basculer en courant AC. Wow. Donc, vous pouvez, euh, si vous voulez électrifier des maisons, il vous faut avoir, si vous avez deux arbres chez vous, bien un arbre, vous électrifiez la maison 24 ou 23. Tant que la plus... Ouais, contact, ouais. Non, je suis chimé, je... Non, ça, c'est l'inspiration. Now, I'm certain that most of you have finished watching that very video there, and I'm certain that you have a lot of curiosity what is really going on because, technically speaking, I don't speak French. This English that I'm even speaking with you right now is a borrowed language. This is not my dialect, right? However, there are other video clips that highlighted this reality in a nutshell without having to go through different tough terrain or tracks or decoding because obviously this guy never revealed the secret he only showed that he was able to power a light bulb from a very small amount of plant you know however the next video which i'm going to be dropping right here is going to be showing you what works and what doesn't work how to do it and for most of western folks i've watched a lot of your channels you don't like sharing this kind of information you only like monetizing it let me state this right clear. It is not in every knowledge that you have that you are going to be milking money from it. No. It's like you are some kind of a lazy and untalented person. I am speaking for myself because I am a very talented person. I have more diverse skills. That at the end of the day, I'm not making money from it. But it is of no use to me either. So I have to share the knowledge for people so that they can be able to use it to elevate, to save themselves from poverty because one of the worst things that could actually happen to anybody is poverty when you are poor your thinking mentality is down here your reasoning is down here you have to achieve some certain level of financial stability for you to start reasoning very good you have to attain some certain level of financial stability for you to start taking the right risk even the stupid one that's going to make you a stupid amount of money that is my own philosophy so if you started harboring every knowledge every secret like a lot of you western folks are doing then this world is not gonna go anywhere and that is the reason why the west are just so far apart from africa africa shares a lot of secret 
Believe me when I say Africa shares a lot of secret. But for the West, no. It is easy for the Western hands to be cut off, the two hands to be chopped off, than them sharing a life-changing secret that can benefit people without any dime from it. So, without wasting further much of your time, I'm going to be dropping the video here. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'm going to put the video right here. So I had the idea, I called my electrician and we measured and in fact we could measure a current in the tree. Here, please, Fundi. You have to go in the flesh of the tree and immediately now that you see I'm not joking, this tree is currently delivering 25 volts DC. So one day Fundi and me, we came, we took our electrical wire. So just an electrical wire, round our tree nicely, like that. Tight. Yeah, it helps if before you put your wire, you really, really scratch the skin of the tree. And it helps if you keep a distance between your wires. You see the scar in the tree? Yeah. Where the tree have those scars. That's where they produce the most of power, categorically. Yeah? So that is where you can get up to 280 volt, even AC. But lunchtime when it requires full sun. Uh, electrical connectors. Now we should be able to measure the current or we can run a light bulb or a grinder, which we are going to do for you in a second. So now, of course, I have both wires on. So here, careful. You see that? This is now 220 volt DC. You can check here, there is no wires going to the tree or whatsoever. Even before we figured that in the day, we can run a grinder and in the night, we can run a light bulb. All our security lights here in our shop, everything here runs off these trees. Now we connect the angle grinder. Here, Tony, please connect it for me. So, now you can see it is uh, two o'clock lunchtime, bright sunlight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we will see if we get now an angle grinder to run. Yeah. And now here, oh, this is now serious power, guys. Yeah. This is serious power. Uh, light on. You can charge batteries and you can charge phones. Sign up! Everyone can charge their phones here for free. Yeah? Uh, from the power of the tree. That is from mornings, 9 o'clock till about 6 in the evening. Go ahead and listen very carefully and watch it because this is where the quantum leap in technological advancement comes into reality. This is where people are set free of their captivities being enslaved to paying bills month after month, taxes after taxes. And after this very video, my next video, I'm going to be going into a live demonstration of everything before I drop this very video with you guys. Sorry for taking your time a little bit. I have actually watched it over and over again. And I have the tree beside me for something I need to travel, maybe like uh, two, three, four, five, or even 10 kilometers to actually get to which I'm not shying away from, and the instrument, I have it because already if you know who I am previously, I'm automobile technician, the good ones, I dive into different aspects, so I have the right tools to take that measurement and share it with you, so I'm going to be going with my tripod, so after watching this video, if you're still finding everything which they said here not very compatible or not working out for you, then tune up for my own video because I'm going to go ahead into experimenting this and see the reality, do the fact check. As a matter of fact, I am actually hoping that you guys could raise me some funds so that I will get a a display uh, a display system where Android display system where I can be able to pull up some technologies which a lot of people are planning to be DIY and going to source in the materials parts and assemble them together and see if it's exactly as people have said it is without cooking up any garbage. If it is hoax, I tell you it's hoax. If it is real, I tell you it is real. So watch the video. And I'll be back. Okay, 
I am certain that a lot of you have actually watched other video and I'm certain that you are starting to see this world different from what you have seen it before. You are seeing a lot of potentials, you are seeing a lot of life-changing events right in this very video right now. Subscribing is absolutely free, you're not paying any dime for it. So what is stopping you to subscribe to my channel? Now before you go, don't forget what I told you before this very video here that I posted. I'm going to run my own experiment and I'm going to share the result right here. And it's not going to be running in secret, I'm going to keep the camera and take the measurement just like the did so that you know. Because most of the times when you make a fancy videos, many fake information get lost in fancy videos. When you have too many of 200 or even 300 calls, the reality about the truth, the bill truth about the information you want to extract or exploit from that very video is lost while they are cutting it and making the video to stimulate your brain to keep watching. So with that said, when I'm about to drop my own bombshell, in fact, I'm not going to be making any fancy videos. Why? Because I want to deter a lot of people who watch those kind of videos. So if you are the kind of person who don't always believe you'll find the truth in fanciful videos, then you're going to get it. That's what it is. So I'll see you on the next one. See you in the comment section.